Last time I've made a video about the best mid-range pre-built gaming PC in 2022, so it's time for me to do the same video about a PC build. Now, do I recommend you buying a PC build or a pre-built PC? Well, that really depends on your necessities and what you want to do. If you want something that's upgradable for the future and you want to learn about components, then a PC build is definitely your choice. But if you want the best performance right now because of the market GPU pricing, I would go with a pre-built PC. So, that depends if you want to get experience and a PC that's actually going to perform great or you want a PC that's already built because maybe you don't have the time or you just don't want to build the gaming PC and you're also going to create a great performance and even a little bit better and I'm going to explain that later. But before starting with the PC build, I want to say that if you find helpful information throughout this video, please hit the like and subscribe and most importantly hit the bell button so you get notified when I upload this type of content and to help the YouTube algorithm. Without more to say, let's start with the PC build. So for this PC build, I I've picked the i5 12600K for the CPU, this one being around $300. Now I think this one is a great option for gaming, of course you're going to be able to stream with this CPU as well, but maybe if you want to do more streaming, you want to get at least an i7, and you want to get an i7 if you're going to do streaming, multitasking, and 3D rendering. But if you're just here for gaming, the i5 12600K is going to be way more than enough. For the CPU cooler, I picked the Be Quiet Dark Rock Pro 4 CPU cooler, is going to be much better than the Intel stock cooler and it's going to get the job done. Here you don't need a 240 millimeters AIO liquid cooler, that is just not necessary for the CPU, so this be quiet is going to get the job done. Then for the motherboard I picked the MSI Pro C690 with Wi-Fi and then for the RAM I actually picked a budget RAM and I'm doing about 2 sticks of 8 gigs at 3200 MHz of CL16 memory, this is the DDR4 not DDR5, I went ahead with DDR4 but you can actually buy any RAM that you want, maybe you prefer 32 gigs of RAM because you do open a lot of tabs while editing, gaming or streaming and that's completely fine but I went with this one so the price doesn't go above the sky which is going to get the job done, these Corsair sticks of RAM are going to work perfectly fine for gaming. For the storage I picked 1TB of SSD, I think this is going to be enough, now if 1TB is not enough and you don't want to spend a lot you can just buy a 2TB hard drive but if you can spend a little bit more I would go with 500GB or another TB of SSD. Then for the GPU and basically the most important part for gaming, we have the MSI RX 6600 XT which is going to perform really similar to the RTX 3060. Now it's going to be a little bit better than the 3060 and a little bit worse than the 3060 Ti, it's going to be in the middle between those two GPUs. Then for the case I picked the Corsair 4000D Airflow, this one I think is the greatest case in terms of price performance, you get a great airflow for a price that's actually not that bad. And last but not least, for the power supply. I picked an 850 watts 80 plus gold power supply for those future upgrades in case you want to upgrade the GPU to maybe like a 3080, 3080 Ti, this power supply is going to get the job done. The price for this PC is going to be $1650 but there is a way that you can actually get it for a lower price and that's by putting a 750 watts power supply instead of the 850 watts power supply, then you can go ahead and choose 500 gigabytes of SSD instead of 1 terabyte depending on the game you play because if you're going to play games like CSGO and Valorant, maybe you don't need one terabyte of SSD, but if you're going to play more high demanding video games like Red Dead Redemption 2, GTA 5, then one terabyte is going to be needed. And the last part that you can downgrade to make this PC cheaper is going to be the CPU cooler. You can go with a $50 Cooler Master Hyper 212 Black Edition cooler. Now of course the Be Quiet is going to be better, but you can downgrade this and get some profit out of it. So that really depends on your budget, but I think this one is the best mid-range PC build that you can buy right now and now for 1080p slash 1440p gaming, this one is going to be able to run games at 60 frames per second at 1440p depending on the settings and depending on the game of course, but if you want to play games like Fortnite, this one is going to be more than capable of reaching a hang with FPS at 1440p, but if you're planning on playing Fly Simulator 2020, then maybe this PC build is not enough. And if you have a 1080p monitor, this one is going to be way more than enough, so if you're thinking of maybe playing competitive games at 240 FPS on average so you want to buy a 240 hz monitor this one is going to be enough and the most important part is that you gain experience by building your own pc at the end and you get a lot of upgrade ability now i'm going to compare it with a private pc that i think is going to get a better performance in case you want to buy a private pc and it's a private pc that i've talked in my last mid-range private pc video that you can actually go ahead and watch it in the top right of the screen in case you're interested in buying a private pc that like i said before is going to perform better but you don't get to build it by 
by yourself and have that PC build experience and learn more about components. But if you don't care about none of that, then you should actually go with this private PC. And I'm talking about this Kitek 3.0 gaming desktop. Now this one has the i7-11700F, which is going to perform a little bit better than the i5-12600, just a little bit better at gaming. You're not going to notice any difference, but you are going to notice a difference if you're planning on doing streaming and multitasking. So if you're planning on doing streaming and multitasking, this i7 is going to make a difference. But if it's just for gaming, there's almost no difference from the PC build that I've showed you before. But other thing that this one has is the RTX 3060 Ti is going to be a better option than the RX 66 Sanguid XT. So for gaming, it's actually going to be better as well. You also get one terabyte of SSD, 16 gigs of RAM at 3200 MHz. But here you get a 6 Sanguid Gold power supply. So there is not a lot of room to upgrade this PC in the future. But if you don't care about that, or you're going to change the power supply at some point, then this private PC is going to be your best option, especially if you're looking for performance and you don't care about building your own PC. Like I said at the beginning, at the end, it's about what you need and what you want to do, what you want to play. It all comes down to your necessities. So that's the first thing that you have to ask yourself. Do I want to build a PC by my own or do I want the best performance? And I don't care who actually builds this PC. Ask yourself that question, answer to it. And when you have the answer, then go for a private PC or a PC build. Now, one thing I forgot to mention is that this private PC also has a 240 millimeters AIO liquid cooler and that is necessary for the i7 11700F since this type of GPUs tends to run hot. So with that being said, I hope I helped you to find the right pre-build or PC build. If you found it helpful, like I said at the beginning, leave a like and subscribe and most importantly hit the bell button. Now if you need more information about this pre-build PC, you will have the video in the top right of the screen which is really important if you want to buy a pre-build PC because it's important to do your research before buying a product and that applies to basically everything not just gaming PCs. So thank you guys for watching, thank you for the support and I will see you on the next one.